Ooh, girl, let me move Miss Dijon over and... Hey girl. Howdy, 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 my beautiful Capricorn. My name is Simply Valka, and today I'm going to be getting into your weekly tarot reading for January 2022. All right, darling. So if you enjoy this tarot reading today, or you just enjoy my vibe, Capricorn, I would appreciate it if you were to give this video a like and subscribe because it helps me out more than you ever possibly could know. And let me know in the comments below, Capricorn, which cards resonate with you and how, darling, because that's how we keep up with you is through the comments, of course. Be looking out for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign as well, Capricorn, because that's how you get the full spectrum of what's going down in your life in specific, darling. As well, be looking for the code word that's going to pop up somewhere in this tarot video, uh, Capricorn, so you can write it down in the comments below and you get entered into a chance to win a completely free tarot reading by me, Capricorn. All right, so let's just jump right into your tarot reading this week. Let's see where the vibes are at, darling. All right, so you have the Six of Cups coming in for you, darling. All right, all right. You know, this could be coming in as a message of where you're receiving some type of offer. You know, the Six of Cups also references in terms of just like something that you have history with, right? Six of Cups energy. If you look at the artwork of this Capricorn, you see just a boy and their dog. And then, you know, the cups, you know, this as time goes on, they become a man and, you know, full grown uh, pulpy honey, right? So we'll, you know, these two other cards will really define this message here. Ten of Swords coming in here, darling. And then Capricorn, we have coming in the Magician Energy. All right, darling. All right, Capricorn. All right. And then we have the Nine of Pentacles in the back of the deck here. <clears throat> all right so this is interesting energy here capricorn all right this energy is kind of all over the place in ways but i overall i'm not mad about this darling i'm not mad about this at all i feel as if you guys are coming out of some type of disappointment right ten of swords refers to you know tens representing closures to cycles right um in this way, you know, what makes this Ten of Swords different from any other tarot deck is this This Ten of Swords is, while in other tarot decks, it's pretty brutal. But in this message of it, you see the sun coming back up after um, a dark period, right? Or like the nighttime or, you know, in that narrative here. So it's almost as if I see for some of you Capricorns, uh, some of y'all coming into uh, reconnecting with old energies here. Some people that you might have gotten into fights with, perhaps. For others of you, I feel as if this is more so signifying uh, for you, Capricorn, that it's the ending of a phase of struggle and uh, for you, which is a beautiful energy to be having right early on in the beginning of this year, darling, right? You know, and this struggle ends with this Six of Cups energy here. Receiving an offer of some type is what the literal definition of this can represent as well, uh, Capricorn. I do see for many of you guys that with this Nine of Pentacles and this Magician energy, um, really pushing in this narrative, Capricorn, for you guys to be doing something to earn more money, right? This is letting you know that this is going to be a very fortunate time for you guys to be experimenting with new things, right? Because that Ten of Swords are mar marking the cycle of where no longer too much of a struggle anymore, Magician Energy follows through with this uh, in the sense of where now you have the strong ability to create in your life, right? The Magician represents um, the individual who manifests the reality that they want to see in this world. And so as thing things start quieting down for you, Capricorn, which they absolutely will, uh, if they haven't yet for you, you know, that Ten of Swords just represents that thing, you know, that struggle is not going to be happening for too much longer, darling. All right. Uh, Nine of Pentacles energy. I like this card a lot because Nine of Pentacles is a message aware. Uh, where you are being uh, taken care of, uh, especially financially uh, for you, uh, Capricorn, as well with the Nine of Pentacles, very successful self-employment. This would be the time, Capricorn, for you guys to be doing those projects that you have been desiring and doing um, as well for you, Capricorn. I feel as if... I don't know. I feel as if there's just going to be an opportunity presenting itself for you to really be uh, uh, bringing, like it's going to be marking the uh, a period of your life of where things really start uh, looking up for you, all right? So let's, let's pull in some clarifiers here. 
we have the three of swords coming in here and now normally i always will take uh inverted but i never will make a point and pointing it out which ones are but this three of swords did come out inverted for you right so three of swords when it's in the upright it's not a happy card right but because this was inverted for you i always just like to hold them up so you guys can actually see the artwork of the cards you know this is a representing of healing so again for many of you guys capricorn some of you guys may have lost your job and what's going to be coming in is the opportunity for you to be making either your own money or i see for some of you capricorns your job actually coming back and trying to bring you back into their life because they realize the mistake that they did in terms of that job even socially if you, if you know some type of chapter closed off with someone that you've had a long time in your life capricorn i see them coming back in and trying to make amends with you uh you have the king of pentacles coming in here as well with the death energy coming in so it's very interesting so we have all these closures that this first row is talking about cancer why am i calling you cancer now capricorn <laughs> that was random we have all these closures that this first row is talking about capricorn you know and then it's like shortly after this fact where you, you then have the king of pentacles coming in with that magician energy here and that nine of pentacles it's like closures wrapped around like and then following after the fact of strong stability king of pentacles is your energy capricorn because pentacles is earth energy and you're an earth sign darling as i'm sure most of you uh, most of all of you know uh darling and so with the six of cups here someone's either going to be coming back into your life capricorn Capricorn trying to ask for your forgiveness um, I feel strongly as well if you have been fired from your job or let go from your job laid off from your job or even hearing back from a past job they're gonna be trying to get you win you back in with a much better offer this time around even in people I feel like they're gonna be coming back in with a better offer trying to uh, win you back over Capricorn as well wherever the case is like this is coming in from a sense of improvement and really coming in with something really solid here right and then when you consider the nine of uh, pentacles energy here overall right it's you are being like i said at the, when i first pulled it, it was like you are being taken care of so it's like whatever this offer is it really takes care of you nicely and i feel like for many of you guys it's financially capricorn all right darling so now let's get into your second row now capricorn let's see what else is going to be going down for you guys this week all right what else is going to be happening for my Capricorns? We have the Ten of Cups, your second ten coming in here. Very good ten uh, to be pulling, though. Ten of Cups coming in here under your Six of Cups. Very powerful message in this way because for many of you guys, you opened your heart up to something. Again, whether it's a job that you were there for a long time for or a person, someone in your family as well. Some of you guys, maybe Capricorn, recently got into a little bit of a tiff uh, with a family member or a close friend or relationship. And I feel like you guys are like they're going to be coming back and trying to um, make things mend things two of pentacles coming in and this is the heart of the energy as well capricorn uh and this is under your ten of swords i do feel you're not going to quite know how to handle this initially i feel like some of you guys you might be looking at this and trying to find the motive behind it or some of you guys you're going to be feeling just a little bit over like many of you guys you're going to be just feeling overwhelmed by the situation be like all right like you're coming back in here like can you emotionally handle this after from whatever happened in the past right that's going to be your main question here and then five of swords under that magician energy here so the fact of the matter is i feel like for many of you capricorns you need to hear this affirming message of where it's like it, it's really going to be weighing on your mind right because you clearly care about this energy a lot still from whatever it is in the past and you're not going to know what decision to be making um ace of cups energy comes in here in back of the deck energy here and this is under your nine of pentacles energy darling very fabulous i can't can't stress that enough this is very fabulous because it's telling you ace of cups energy is like it, by definition is talking about new love and new opportunity uh coming into your life here and so in this message here it's letting you know where it's like whatever choice you end up making um i see one i do see like i see this as a dynamic where it's going to be safe for you to open up to this if you do make that decision i'm not here to tell you to do that right because obviously it's going to be very individualistic for each of you capricorns but you know also new opportunities coming in here i feel like whatever offer that they do have coming in here it's at the very very least worth asking more questions about and delving in 
a little bit deeper, trying to get more detail, I feel, Capricorn, all right? Clarifying this row, Seven of Cups coming in here. Definitely a lot of options here, uh, Capricorn. So don't feel like you have to take up on this offer here. Hierophant Energy as well as the Ace of Wands coming in here. So whatever the case may be for you, Capricorn, I feel as if uh, for you, you're going to be having a lot of different options. You know, even with this energy coming in, it might be even several different people coming in from the past. And that's what's overwhelming to you with that Two of Pentacles, uh, Capricorn. So you definitely have a choice that needs to be made here. And you need to just, rather than having fear, like how you will be able to make this choice, Capricorn, Capricorn in your life is rather than having anxiety about how, what the like like I was trying to explain this last week to a zodiac sign don't make your decision uh Capricorn based off of what you think the result will be and make your decision decision based off of what you're feeling most called to right with the ace of wands here coming in with that hierophant the hierophant is very traditional energy what does your heart say right what do you what does your intuition say Capricorn and go with that answer right if they are approaching you Capricorn with a better offer what is it what is it telling you inside right L really pay attention to your intuition this week really ask yourself the question of what is your heart saying about this what should you do with that right so you def i do see you guys making the right choice ultimately but um let's continue on we have the three of swords coming in again so, so i do see for some of you guys right some of you guys are going to really be able to um I see you guys really struggling with whatever pain happened beforehand and it's like that's really what's influencing you now where you're just like you don't want to be hurt like that again right yeah strength energy here capricorn and then we have the eight of cups so for many of you guys i do see you guys walking away from this where you're just like you cl you're closing the chapter to this book here five of pentacles energy here like i feel as if you know if this reading was for me right because i'm never about sugarcoating i'm always going to tell you how i perceive this and what um and especially if this is for me right i always read the cards and how i would read for myself here i see for many of you guys making the choice of just walking away all right i do see that truly i see you guys walking away from this because it took too much out of you when you first experienced this it took too much out of you you couldn't you can't continue like you can't try to give this another chance and uh in the way that it is because it just it, when you first uh, engaged with it beforehand like and all, all all that was said and done it it took it really hurt you to your core and took something from you and so what i want to be telling you as well though capricorn is don't be afraid of asking for more you know they do approach you with this offer here capricorn but that doesn't mean that you can't challenge that offer and make them raise it more all right don't take the first offer that they give to you you know you challenge them i feel like that's what you need to be hearing challenge them right you have the star energy clarifying this with the nine of cups here and then capricorn you have the five of wands here all right so yeah that's what i feel like you need to be doing capricorn you'll get your answer to what you what decision to be making in your life by by purely just challenging it all right raising the standard more raising the bar for what is being presented to you right they say they want to make things work then challenge them on it be like all right well you these are your guidelines you know you they say that they want to come back into your life be like all right well you you know you need to have certain things promised to you you know the ball is in your in your court this time around capricorn you are in control of the situation you are the one calling the shots in regards to this all right so don't make your decision based off of like obligation or anything like that like you are in, really in control uh with how things will be turning out and so for many of you Capricorns, you just need to be hearing the message of where it's like, don't be afraid of demanding for a higher offer, because I feel like you will get that offer if you uh, set that tone, you know? So you have the Wolverine spear coming in here, which makes so much sense for you, Capricorn. This card says you are a lot tougher than what you think you are here. So some of you guys, Capricorn, need to get comfortable with the idea of where it's just like... 
you need to set the standard Capricorn and be like, either you meet me at this, at these requirements or you leave, right? And walk out the door. Don't be afraid of walking away. All right. And then you have the new moon in Scorpio working through your fears here. So you have a lot like you're functioning like it seems as if your biggest challenge here, I'll say Capricorn, is really just challenging your narrative and challenging like what it is that you are fearing. Would you accept this offer just because like you feel like you wouldn't be able to get anything better? Because that's not the reality of it. Are you afraid of accepting this offer because you're so afraid of what happened in the past that you're afraid of being hurt again? You know, I guess like you're getting all these affirming cards uh capricorn where you're telling where spirits telling you where it's just like they're trying to challenge those fears they're trying to challenge those narratives and they're doing that for a reason right they're not doing that just because and so make sure that, again make sure you're not making your decisions based off of fear and don't be again like i keep saying it capricorn but i can't stress this enough don't be afraid of uh bringing in a counter offer or taking their offer and be like that's not enough right i feel like you need so some of you capricorns need to hear the um message of where it's like don't be afraid of just raising the bar because they're the ones approaching you capricorn all right they are the ones that are wanting something from you they are the ones that messed up prior that's why we have that ten of swords here three of swords and all this they messed up you didn't push them to those decisions in the past right and so Make sure that whatever decision you end up making here, Capricorn, you make it not based off of fear, not based off of what you think you can handle, and based off of quite literally what it is that your heart is telling you, Capricorn. All right? So that is the weekly tarot reading that I have for you, darling. I hope you enjoyed this tarot reading today. If you did, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe, um, and let me know in the comments below how this resonates and what is this talking about and specific for you, uh, Capricorn. Be sure that you found the code word that pops up in this video at some point as well uh capricorn if you want to book a private reading with me my website's down below simply com. next to my social medias tiktok instagram and facebook all that just being simply welcome and yes until next time my beautiful capricorns i love you so much and i'll be connecting with you hopefully sometime in the near future bye darling